welcome beetle lovers welcome to the beetle breeding channel a special day today more than 10,000 subscribers thanks to you to your interest to your friends it's a great day actually I wanted to um, show a video with Benjamin Horing today that I recorded yesterday with him he's the pioneer one of the pioneers of beetle breeding in Europe and he's actually the reason why this channel exists but I had big troubles with my SD card of the GoPro camera so I couldn't read it anymore after a session of about one hour and um, I had to ask Benjamin to come back next time and then we can re-record the things that I wanted to offer you for the Jubilee of 10,000 uh, subscribers in this channel so we have to wait for an another days and then until then we go on with our work here but at the end of this video you will see a short take from the interview with Benjamin Haring because I had to change the SD card uh, at the end and then it recorded um, like it should and uh, you will see that part it's about 10 minutes at the end of our new session day 14 now um, it's time to change the substrate I just started with one of this uh, glass charts as you can see here we added six pellets yesterday uh, five gram was the larva then now we don't see any pellets anymore but probably the larva has taken the pellets just into the substrate like a dog would uh, bury the bones in the garden and come back after one week when they are smelly and the eggs start to eat them it's practically the same for the uh, Gordiatus larvae so let's see um, how how the larva is doing I have to I can just show it here to you she's here on this on this sand uh, sandy mixture looks great yeah. uh, she is 5.2 grams what did we write here 5 so since yesterday she gained quarter of a gram that's more or less one of this uh, um, cat food pellets then I wash out the glass jars just to rem remove the uh, rest of the sand from it and then I add the same substrate exactly the same that I have used already because it was made in the same cement mixture the same day with the same substrate so actually it's the same substrate but fresh one so there are no remains of feed pellets in it and it is clean uh, for the next uh, yeah for the next days I think it should be enough now until the mold to the L3 stage it's not so far as you can see here the larva is really fat and has grown big and beautiful and and could be that in about two three days it will mold to L3 you can see that she's fat because the diameter of the head capsule is about only half of the diameter of the whole body width so that's a typical sign that they have grown and eaten a lot so I just put her back here into the fresh sand and we have to we can check how much how many uh, pellets are uneaten in the substrate here well this is one also sometimes the peat sticks together one two three four five yeah probably six or seven so it's a sign that we gave a little bit too many of the of the feed pellet so we can re reuse a, a little a little bit so I would add here now three fresh pellets not more for the moment and we will see next time whether she has eaten it and as you know for each two of the pellets one spray so this is one and a half here and of course then we have to make a new bookkeeping this is number 19 I have prepared some new etiquette here so we removed six and we gave three so this seven and it was 5.2 grams then so we have uh, our bookkeeping here of course I also uh, write the same things uh, into an Excel 
sheet so I have the data always uh, together also in, in the computer so that's the job for today for each of the of the boxes I just uh, check the weight again so it's only since yesterday the, here there were six new pellets on the subset and you see there's not one can be seen here so that she has taken them into the substrate the larva and let's see where she is now uh, here on the side of the of the so uh, let's check the weight she was last time she was 4.85 grams and now let's see 4.85 and now she is 5.15 so in one day they gain 0.3 uh, grams, that's a lot, that's more than one uh, pellet eaten. And it can grow fast with coleotus, that's uh, why they can grow within 40 days up to 100 grams, so they must eat a lot in the L3 stage, but already in the L2 stage they eat pretty good. So let's see here how many pellets have been not eaten, only one, two, three, I would say around four. So. We write here on the etiquette, it's the, it's the insect number 20. So we write minus 4 and we give 4 more plus 4. So it was, how much would you say? 6 point, uh, it was 5.15 gram. So that's the whole job. So if you look at the, at the, at the gross rates of the coleotus, that's always an interesting thing. You can see if uh, your breeding setting is good for this larva if they grow regularly and they grow fast and they eat a lot. I can show you um, something that was published uh, two years ago in Prague at the University of Prague. They made some gross uh, experiments with coleotus larvae. I just show you after I put this back now. With four, wait, how much you said? With four new pellets. One, two, three, four. One, two. So that's it. And then I can tell, show you the graph uh, that I'm talking about. This one. So what is it? It is it is just a graph of the growth of Goliath larvas. They started here, they zero hatching, zero milligram, that's five grams, that's ten grams, fifteen grams, that's the highest is about thirty six, thirty seven grams. So what happened? The first, so the still the mold to L two they were practically one gram. And then from L1 to L2, they are a little bit more than 5 grams. And then, if they gave protein, it went very fast up until 37 grams. That's a small Goliathus larva, but this can uh, be a good adult, also if it's a female, for example. So remember that. Uh, they can actually become up to 100 grams. So that would be here on the paper, huh? <laughs> somewhere. So, but uh, I mean here. But the other graphs are interesting too, because here you see if you don't give protein, they slow down the growth. They, not, they do not die. They just live and live and live, but they don't get any more weight than about 10 to 12 grams in the L3 stage. And as soon as you give some protein supply, they start growing and then they go back and they pupate here after they lose some of the weight at the end of the growth phase. Also, after 300 days, so that's practically one year, if you give protein food, food then, then they add some more weight and then they pupate. But let's say this is about 20 grams only for a pupation uh, weight. That's not enough for a vital uh, coleotus. And it would be best, and what we find in nature also, that as soon as they come out as a small uh, larva L1 stage, they should have protein added to their diet so that they can grow very fast and then they also grow big.
yeah, and later on they will get smaller and smaller and at the end they will die. So that was an interesting curve I discussed also with uh, Benjamin Horing that you will see now. So please enjoy the talk with my famous assistant Benjamin Horing www.beetlebreeding.ch and uh, we see you next time. Two days. Bye bye. Thanks. Yeah, so it's interesting to see that um, the moment you give protein uh, feed, they start growing, and if not, they just 10 grams, not more, huh? Mm. Even though they use just normal flakes, so yeah, like you did, or everybody did. Mm. But, the, but the problem is they can't. I think if they cannot adjust wood, what do you want to do? Yeah. I mean, it's basically, I don't know, it's starving them to... to yeah, adulthood, even though it doesn't work. So today, all today, they write comments in my videos that this is an old technique with peat and sand. Um, and now today we know better. We, we use flake soil and everything. I always say, people do what you think is good. If you have success with your method, yeah. keep to keep it. it. Yeah. Don't change it. And if not, if you have others who are better than you, you can think about doing something else. And it's always, it's also, it's also easily said, this doesn't work, you should do it differently, but then um, I think a key problem very often is that it's not sustainable, right? You need to go, you basically need to make sure you can do it over many generations. Yes. Just, just a one-time success, I mean, you succeed in getting a, say, 10 centimeter or 100 millimeter um, Goliath beetle one time, might be luck. Yeah. If you do five, <laughs> yeah. Then, yeah. then your method might be good. And very often, I think, these accidental successes are told as a breeding success and you normally see it very and easily. And it's not reproducible. No, when you want yeah. to repeat it, it doesn't yeah, work. That's I mean, that's where it's sometimes quite frustrating to read and say, yeah, it has been done. You know, but how has it been done? Well, we got a pregnant female. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. no clue why. So let's go to the last uh, two, two, four, six, eight, nine uh, glass jars of Coriolis regios here. Uh, you, uh, it's not that you are my assistant now here in this no, I want to be. laboratory, fine, but this is also the fun part <laughs> of people <laughs> yeah. breeding, you know, yes. checking the larvae, whether they still, yeah, you know what to do, we want to wait then, we want to change the, uh, give some new pellets here, we gave five, in all we gave now this two, five, seven, ten, fourteen, eighteen, twenty-three, 20 so that's around nearly five grams of pellets. So it's yeah. a fat chubby lava, so it should be okay. Five, five grams. grams. That's good. So she, she grew also. Now we need six pellets and uh, five grams. So I think in one week they could be about beginning for L3 stage. Huh? Put this in and, yep. Oh yeah, 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 of course, yeah. Excuse me. That looks fine otherwise. Hmm? That looks really nice otherwise. Let's have a look. Yeah. Nice and active. They are active. Yeah, that's the problem of the sand is that sometimes you think it's mites. Yeah, you know, yeah. Because it's a powdery substance. And, uh, Do it this way now. Now, what do you think about the hygiene hysteria in the beetle breeding scene? You know, there are a lot of people working with plastic thing and <laughs> with masks. I don't know. It, it, do we really it, do we need that? See, or I think what happens. I don't know. You've bred um, you've bred moths as well, right? With caterpillars. Yes. So I understand the same with plants. Once you cross a certain size, like or number of animals. And you get something in your breeding, it becomes a major ah, problem. Oh, okay, yeah, that's so. Okay. I think I don't do it. I think it's it's unnecessary. Yeah. But hey, yeah. once I think you got a major pest issue, or like everything oh, yeah, starts dying. So. Yeah, Maybe that's why. So yeah. I don't know. And I had like oh six point six. That's a big 6. one. Six point six. That's a, one of the heaviest now. Huh? Yeah. So we have to give four pellets this time. Oh, it's even yeah. getting little and. Oh wow! Well, yeah, it looks great. Yeah, but I think everybody to his own liking, right? If they like to wear yeah. gloves. I, I think it's a tactile hobby. It's The hardest part is always to um, describe people on how a substrate, substrate should be. And you say, that, well, it has to smell like this, it has to feel like this, yeah. the right moisture. You can see it. If somebody shows you, it's easy to, it's easy to see. 
and easy to remember, but somebody needs to show it to you. That's the same for me. First time I saw flakes, I was like, okay, now I know what to aim for. <laughs> but that's where... Um, four, right? Four, yeah. That's where um, it's sometimes quite difficult to to make sure um, yeah, you do it right and you get it right. Here yeah, we had three last time. Here you go. Like you said, it's almost meditative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if they're living, yeah. Four point eight five. Four point eight five. Yeah, uh, we need four here. Yep. So, in what kind of boxes you kept your first holy auto? Um, small boxes too. Small Smaller boxes, boxes like um, like your extra soy boxes, maybe um, a liter. Okay. So a quart. For the American yeah, yeah. Um and that um, worked quite well. The problem was I, I, I found in that they were hunting for um, the Udicella lava mm -hmm. um, and they were eating them quite well. But mm -hmm. remember we did this um, test also with uh, Megalorina harisi mm -hmm. and there they are very carnivorous, very aggressive, yeah, 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 yeah. but then no growth effect for those guys. Yeah. I mean, they, they hunt like Goliath, yeah, yeah. but we didn't see any yeah. different to, difference to so, yeah, here you, I wanted to show you how she's diving down, but she didn't. <laughs> here you want to I make don't a always effect. Yeah. Yeah. comply. Yeah. Okay, oops. Oh, that's a, that looks like a big one. That's also quite heavy. So 6.10. Yeah, so we need 6 here. Hmm? So they're good, they're on a good way, I think. So they were about 2 grams. Uh, when I when I receive them, that's how to now they have gained a lot. Yeah, that's cool. They're a good track to become big size. That does nothing hmm? goes wrong. They're a good track to become big size. The Yeah, I'm, you nothing know I'm not. Oh, here's a you see the mycelium that? of the of the food pellet. I mean, it's not a danger for the for the for the larvae. Himself, but I remove them anyway uh, when I see them. Yeah. So that's after two days, uh, that's very quick uh, that they develop this mold. But also means there's no additives in, which is huh? it also means there's no uh, very little additives in the food, which is good for yeah, the lava. Yeah, yeah. Any, I think, food stabilizer would cr probably create problems yeah. for the lava. And this is a fellow Last one. time we had six, so do you, do you, oh, he wanted to take <laughs> you. Yeah, sometimes they are very quick. Uh, yeah, yeah, very angry vipers. Uh, so this must be. A big one also. Oh, 6.8, 6 that's the heaviest one five. today. So this need 6 oh, but only. Huh? Or have you have more uneaten? Yes, more uneaten. I think this is... So we put 5 in this. here, huh? Yeah, there's quite a few uneaten ones. Okay, we, we give 5. Yeah. Do you want to take those out or keep them in? No, next time I do it. Yeah. So yes. so Sometimes in the own the elder L3 stage lobby the, the substrate starts smelling like in a lion in a lion uh, Lion's cage. cage. Yeah. You know? Like from Ureo. L yeah you can see yeah you can. and um, it's very typical. If you smell it you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I didn't smell it here now. No, they still it's like kind of a sweat. Sometimes I've seen on the lid like drops and I imagine that they like uh, split, spit out a Some fluid. fluid. I don't know. Well, maybe. Two point seven here? five. That's oh. number one. Two point seven five. Yeah, this is not, uh, not two point. So we stay with four here. Yeah, we'll probably we stay go back to three. Huh? Yeah, I think three if it's not so, we go back to three. But still looks it's healthy and fine. Yes. Doesn't look stunted or yeah. like misdeveloping. Yeah, but I think they must be around 10 grams for, uh, if they are really good for big species, and if they are around 10 grams, when they change to L3, that's a good size. If we got 10 times 8, could be a final size. size. And 80 grams is quite close to yeah. good medium to large. So here are a lot of pellets on the surface, I see it from here, what happened Oops. here? Is it already in the mold for next stage? Let's see. Or what happened here? Yeah, I got a lot of mites too in this Mites, way. a lot, yeah. And away you go. And then... Let's see. Oh! 
Ooh, yeah. I, it's, I think it's uh, yeah, it's yellowish. It's getting ready to um, to Already? change to a three, six point three. Oh, that's why she stopped. Six point two five. Yeah, probably. If I mean, you know, they traveled. And she, and she has a lot of. Food they traveled her. one week, huh? So we only put two here, yeah, huh? Probably. Just for testing. Yeah. And then, so she's not active, very much active, probably now, huh? Yeah, she's probably just getting so ready to. So. Yeah. Yeah, probably this is already on the way to L3, huh? Could yeah, maybe. Be. Let's see. Let's see. So we have two more. <laughs> and you were the, you you have been the one that told me Goliath is pretty is mostly about discipline. I think that's so what if it is, you yeah. if you if you do it regularly every second day, same time, same technique, same food. I mean most breeding is right. Remember uh, we did the same we talked the same about um, I think when you started Hercules and you were like I tried this, uh, I tried yeah, this. Yeah. I was like don't do this. I said just whatever you pick, <laughs> just continue. It doesn't yeah. matter. At least yes, maybe you get half or quarter inch more in size but all this like substrate changes yeah uh, I remember that the first insect you gave me were it was a Phalochronotus mulleri yeah and I tried to push it with cat food and putting <laughs> cat food in the tunnel where she was living and all that stuff and she was never getting big no. and the same I think these are typical beginner mistakes, mistakes yeah. you know that you that you don't that you have no thrust in, the, in nature, in yeah. the vitality of the animal <laughs> itself, you know, that you always think, yeah, I have to do something, I must do something. See, I always compare them to very, what is that, tiny, very old people, so no change in environment. Oh, okay. Anything is a shock, yeah, too much of a heat, too much of a cold. I yeah. think the biggest, if you want to be really big, I mean, Goliath maybe is a different story, but in general, if you want to be really big, just pick very constant conditions. I mean, especially yeah. when they're from the tropics, there's not much change. Yeah. So there's no cold, no hot. No, much food, little food, 6.8. 6 6.8. It's quite good. And um, you will Very be successful five. enough, right? Even with an average breeding substrate, okay. you will do fine. Changing it all the time would just lead to heartbreak and tiny adults. So it's not, it's not worth it. So now that we can say that uh, around 7 grams is now the, the, the maximum. We have, but we have several. We have four yep. of Five. There's quite a few yeah. big ones. That's, uh, yeah. And they're growing, right? So that's that's yeah. the most important part. Okay. So I hope, Benjamin, that uh, I can see you here more often in the Beetle Reading Channel Thanks when you're you back now in Switzerland. I'm very happy about that. And yeah, thank you. He started actually the crates for the Beetle Reading Channel now with 10,000 subscribers. Thanks to you also. Thank and you. of course, thanks to you. Thanks. Have a good time. Keep on doing your beetle breeding. Good. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye.